Hello everyone. Welcome back. Let us now see about the implementation of standard Ethernet. The standard Ethernet defines several implementations but only four of them have become popular during 1980s. As listed below, 10 base 5, 10 base 2, 10 base 3 and 10 base F or various variants differ based on medium and the medium length. So the media used in case of 10 base 5 is thick coaxial cable whereas in case of 10 base 2 it is thin coaxial cable and in case of uh, 10 base T it is two UTP cables uh, twisted pair cables and 10 base F it is going to be two fiber cables and with the medium length they vary as 500 meters 185 meters 100 meters and 2000 meters but they all have something in common and that is the encoding technique which is Manchester encoding technique. All standard implementations use digital signaling with base band at 10 Mbps. At the center side the data are converted into a digital signal with the help of Manchester encoding and at the receiver side the receiving signal is interpreted as uh, Manchester and decoded into data so Manchester encoding is self synchronous providing a transition at each bit interval so this is how whatever may be the medium the encoding happens in Ethernet so now when we see about uh, uh, the individual implementations 10 base 5 implementation goes with 10 Mbps baseband uh, digital and 500 meter being the cable length. So there is going to be single cable length and cable is ended with the cable end at both the corners and various devices it may be a, a printer or it may be a server all these things are connected uh, as workstations to this single thick coaxial cable of maximum length 500 meter and there can be a transceiver cable from this uh, coaxial cable towards the computer and it can be maximum 50 meters you should not exceed above that one so this is 10 base 5 implementation and next comes 10 base 2 called as thin ethernet this thin ethernet or cheaper net he also uses bus topology similar to thick ethernet but the cable is much thinner and more flexible the cable can be bent to pass very close to the stations and in this case the transceiver is normally part of the network interface card itself so which is installed inside the station the thin coaxial cable can be maximum 185 meters and note that the collision here occurs in the thin coaxial cable itself so this implementation is more cost effective than 10 base uh, 5 that is thick ethernet because thin coaxial cable is less expensive than thick coaxial cable and the T connections are much cheaper than the tabs which are being used so installation is simple because the thin coaxial cable is very flexible and the length alone uh, cannot be more than 195 closer to 200 so due to high level of attenuation in thin coaxial cables and next is twisted pair ethernet that is 10 base t implementation where 10 base t uses physically star topology and it the stations are connected to the hub via two pairs of twisted cables so twisted pair cables are used to connect and the, the pairs of twisted pair cable create two paths one for sending and the other for receiving between the stations and the hub any collision here happens in the hub 
so compare to 10 base 5 and 10 base 2 we can see that the hub actually replaces the coaxial cable as far as the collision is concerned the maximum length of the twisted pair cable here is defined as 100 meters so to minimum the effect of attenuation in the twisted pair cable and next is 10 base F called as fiber ethernet although there are several types of optical fiber 10 mbps ethernet the most common is called 10 base F where the star topology is being used to connect the stations to the hub the stations are connected to the hub using two fiber optic cables as shown in the figure so these are the various implementation standards and the summary goes like this where the encoding is the same